What's up guys? Today we'll be making some fresh curry with Indian style. So I'll be showing you step by step. This is onions, garlic, ginger, this is Thai chili, this is black pepper. I use black peppercorn. So I'll be adding I have it on my medium heat. I find it pretty hot, so I I already put in two tablespoons of oil, of vegetable oil. Okay, so we'll throw in the ginger. I use one garlic, one full garlic, probably two tablespoons of ginger. I use fresh ginger, by the way. And this is Thai chili. And this is peppercorn. I smashed it and crushed it. I'll we'll cook all these ingredients. Until it starts sticking to the pan. The heat is on me low right now because. I had my pan up a little bit and I added two spoons of vegetable oil on it first. So. This is two tomatoes I'm putting in. It's fresh. You can use canned. If you don't have canned, you could just use fresh ones. Whatever you have. The house. You don't have to like go in the house, like go to the store and buy it, right? Uh, unless you have it in your garden. Put in a little bit of ground cumin. Put a pinch, not too much. We'll cook this for a bit, for a few minutes. It's on a medium heat right now, so. Until the garlic starts sticking to the pan, then we'll add the spices to it. And I'm using soulfish, it's S-O-L-E. Like, I never tried it. So I thought it was like, thick fish, but this fish is very small and skinny. Like, very thin. So, it's filet, right? So, I just wanted to try it out, that's why I just tested it. So, see how it turns out, you know what I mean?
the aroma smells so nice when you put ginger, garlic, Thai chilies, everything together and saute it. Like if you don't eat spicy food, you don't have to add Thai chili. If you like it, then add it. This is ground cumin. I'll put in this teaspoon. It's a pinch. You don't want to overdo it. If you overdo it, it has like sour taste to it. Then we we have ground coriander. Just a pinch. And we have this is ground turmeric, probably one and a half tablespoons. And this is garam masala. There's some different kinds, so put. One and a half. This is fish masala. I'll put probably one tablespoon. Then we have this is chili powder. If you don't like it, you use pep paprika. Probably I put probably like one tablespoon. I'm scared this up. Salt to taste. I'm eyeballing it because I know how much I'm putting in. You guys are doing it. Measure. Then you put more chili powder in. Just probably that's probably like one tablespoon, two tablespoons. I put in. It looks lost, but it's not. See the texture? You want is this, but you don't want your spices to stick, right? So. Okay. 
turn the heat up a little bit. So we'll add in water. So this is for the gravy. It depends how much gravy you like. You could add whatever you have. If you have a bigger family, you could add more if you have less. If you only want a little bit of gravy on it, just put a little bit. So. You scrape everything off from the bottom. You see the red color? That's what you want. The texture has to be red. And this is fresh cilantro. So you can put it at the last, but I want the, all the herbs in there like boiling all together, right? So the sauce comes to a boil. So. Chopped cilantro. We'll add more gravy because all the fish will just dive in there, you know what I mean? So, okay. so now we're going to bring this to a boil. We'll check all the spices and everything in. We'll boil for at least for like 5-8 minutes. Then we'll test how the salt is. If everything's good, then we'll add the fish in. Okay, let's start. Let's cover this. Bring that to a boil. You can put your spices back wherever you got it, clean as you go. So we'll try the salt, see how it is. Sure, we just try the broth, how it is. So. Salt. Two days.
like in the restaurant, they cook this bad, like this gravy in a bigger pot, and they put this in like the sauce and everything, man. Right? So like, every curry you could think of. So. By the way, don't think I'm from India. But I just know how to cook because I've been cooking for a long time, so I'm just used to it. Not for a long time, but I like cooking. Cooking's like art. You should just put a little bit of salt at a time because if you have too much, then you have to add more water. You gotta boil it, it'll take a long time. So. This is the fish, so see what I mean? So it's still thin. So fish is called sole, S O L E. So you know what I said? I didn't put that much gravy. Like all the fish will just soak it. So. More of like you don't you don't want to break it, right? So. I don't like See, give it probably like four to five minutes and this will be done. Cover it. Let me know you guys like how's the camera on that? Because I have another this like GoPro. This camera is like you know what I mean? This is really good, but I'll just checking out this camera so how it is. How's if it's not good, I'll use this camera like next time.
Two more minutes should be done. Eat this with rice, like pita bread, naan, roti, bread, rice, noodle rice, rice noodles. Whatever you want, right? So, like this fish doesn't take that long to cook, so should be done. Let me know what do you guys think. Comment below and let me know what do you guys want me to cook next. This how it looks like it. So this is the end piece. So, if you just want me to cook something next, just let me know, hit me up, and I'll be happy to cook for you whatever you just want. Thanks for watching, and let me know what's up.